Do you love to travel but hate freezing to death when you're in the airplane at 30,000 feet? Me too. And that's why today I'm going to share with you three quick tips on how you can stay reasonably warm inside the aircraft cabin. Hi, I'm Kathleen Starmer, the founder of KathleenStarmer.com, where I teach savvy women how to travel both intelligently and safely. Uh, I have traveled to over 33 countries, I've got 1.25 million air miles, and I've been to six continents. So I'm bringing a lot of experience to bear on the subject. Hopefully you'll find it valuable. So the very first tip I'm going to share with you about staying warm in an airplane is actually kind of an obvious one. It's the scarf, but not just any scarf. I'm talking about highly, highly compressible, yet super, super warm uh, cashmere scarves. Uh, this particular one's called tissue weight cashmere. Now they're super pricey. I admit this one was probably about $125, but I've also had it for, I want to say 15 years. The thing just will not die. So it compresses really, really small. You can pack it in the side of your backpack and it also is incredibly warm. So you can wrap it around your neck. And for some reason, just that little bit of warmth around your neck makes it much more bearable when they forget to turn on the heat or turn the heat way down low for whatever reason. The next tip I have, Maybe a little bit unusual to you. These are chemical hand warmer packets. When you when you open the packet and you expose it to air, there's a chemical reaction that causes the little pack inside to turn nice and toasty warm. So if you're in a really freezing airplane, go ahead and pull a set of these out of your backpack, put them in your pockets, and enjoy the warmth that lasts for about eight hours. So it's actually usable on something like a transatlantic flight. Uh, these are also apparently fine with the TSA. I've got, taken them through the, the TSA inspection x-ray machine and no one's ever said a word about them. So chemical hand warmer packs. The last suggestion I have for you is actually pretty unusual. I came up with this when I was freezing to death in a seminar a couple of years ago. It is my very own hot water bottle. Now, this only works if you have a water bottle that's not one of those super fancy double or triple walled ones that's insulating because those insulated ones, no matter what temperature the liquid inside, you won't be able to detect it outside. But if you get an old fashioned water bottle, one of these metal kinds that's just single walled, what you can do if you're freezing to death is ask the flight attendant to fill it halfway with hot water and halfway with cold water. Now you don't want it all hot water. I know because I did that one time and I just about fried my hands. But if you do that combo of hot and cold, you'll end up with this really great little bullet effectively uh, that you can just kind of snuggle and hold and it really just makes the flight much more bearable and you can sip it. It's sort of like sugar-free hot chocolate or decaffeinated coffee. So those are my three tips for staying warm on a freezing cold airplane. Hope you find them useful. If you know anyone who suffers when they freeze on an airplane the way I do, go ahead and, and share this video with them. Send them over to this page and, and have them comment, like, it'd be great. Um, thank you, by the way, for your comments on yesterday's or I guess it was Monday's Facebook Live video. Uh, it sounds like some people want to know about uh, how to dress appropriately for travel, uh, how to pack lightly for travel. So I'll be covering those in upcoming episodes. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.